In today's video, we are going to talk about Endeavor OS, a must-see Arch-based Linux distro. Myself, Mohammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Endeavor OS got released back in 2019 and it was a spiritual successor of Antergus Linux which was stopped and discontinued in May 2019. Endeavor OS is a rolling release Linux distribution and it is based on Arch Linux and in two years and its latest release Endeavor OS has made a respectable following in the Linux community. The size of its ISO file is almost 1.9 GB and it requires at least 2 GB of RAM and 20 GB of hard drive space. Endeavor OS offers 13 desktop environments in general and some of the prominent are Genome, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, etc. Although there is only one file available to download that comes with the XFCE desktop environment by default. So when you start the installation process with its ISO file, it asks you whether you want to install the online version or the offline. If you go with the online, only then you will be able to select and choose other desktop environment. Otherwise, the XFCE desktop environment will get installed by default. And there is one condition to go with the online option. You must have an internet connection because it requires downloading some of the packages from the internet while offering you the choice to choose another desktop environment. If you do not have the internet, you can go with the offline mode and after the installation, you can install the other desktop environments through the terminal and it will allow you to boot the Endeavor OS with the different desktop environment. But obviously, you need to have the information and knowledge about how to use terminals and how to install anything in Linux distribution. Now let's talk about some of the prominent features of this beautiful Linux distribution. First of all, let's talk about minimalistic approach. Endeavor OS has followed the terminal centric approach and it is one of the most minimalistic distro out there. It gets shipped with the necessary apps and packages for your ARC PC. It includes essential drivers for your graphics, network, sound, and the Firefox browser is also bundled for your internet browsing needs. This Linux distro allows you complete control of your PC and installs the app and packages to create your custom-made personal computer. As it is a rolling release distro, you will get all the latest packages in it. And especially with this release, we have significant updates in terms of the software and features. Now let's talk about some other features. After you are done with the installation of Endeavor OS, this is the welcome screen that you will get by default. From here, you can do a lot of things. I will talk about some of the important one here. First of all, I'll talk about the packages support. Here you can see under the add more app section, we have all Arch packages and then we have all AUR packages. AUR means Arch User Repositories. You just need to click on these buttons. It will open a web page for you from where you can have all the information about the available packages in these two repositories. After that, I'll go back to my welcome screen and under the after installation section, we have a lot of things that we can do. First of all, we can update our system by just clicking on this button. We do not even need to open our terminal and use any command. This will complete everything on its own. After that, it allows you to update your mirrors. As we know that Linux distribution uses the mirrors to download different applications, software, packages and many other things. You can set your mirrors as per your location or as per your liking. For example, I want to go with United States and after that I just need to click on OK and then my system will get update and then it will use the United States mirror to download different packages, softwares and different other things. Other than that, you have other things like you can clean up your packages every now and then. 
just click on this button and from here you can change the cleaning period you can go with the daily basis and you can have number of package versions that you want to keep just click on these two buttons and you can have as many packages version as you want after that just click on ok and you have one more option in here other than that it allows you to choose the default desktop background i am not using the default one i have downloaded some of the endeavor os wallpaper and i'm using one of them to choose the default one just click on endeavor os default wallpaper and this is the default wallpaper that gets shipped with endeavor os we do not get any more wallpapers by default in this linux distribution to download more endeavor os wallpaper here we have a button on to the welcome screen that says download more endeavor os wallpapers just click on it and it will start the process into the terminal and it will download every single wallpaper that is available for endeavor and then you can include those wallpapers into your background section of your settings and then you can use any of the wallpaper so these are all the wallpapers that i have imported from the downloaded repository in case if you do not see them here just click on this folder option after that click on other go to your home from there go to your user then share then look for endeavor os folder after that go to backgrounds then here you have those repositories i have already imported this one i'll show you how to import this one after clicking on this one just click on open all those wallpaper will also get included into my background section from here just click on any one that you want to keep as your background wallpaper and here you can see we are good to go other than that you have some other things that you can perform from this welcome screen and i'm sure this is the most option that any linux distribution offer from the welcome screen as you can see we have many section up and then we have a lot of things that we can perform down here after that i'll talk about interface of this beautiful linux distribution well the desktop is very clean as we do not get anything onto the desktop and our taskbar is also very clean as we only have some of the applications which are docked at the bottom and then we have application launcher button or you can say menu button then here we have four desktops that are available by default by desktop we mean we can have four different workspaces i am going to open my terminal in here this is my first workspace and in that i have my terminal open if i go with the second one which is this one i will just click on it here you can see we do not have anything in here it means we can open different application in four different workspaces and we can work on all of them simultaneously that's a really cool thing and then we have our clock here and after that we can shut down restart or log out from our system and for the notification we have an icon here just click on it and it will show you all the notifications in here in case if you want to turn off your notification just click on this button and you will not have any notification so the interface is very clean and we do not have any unnecessary thing in here and with that let's move on towards the default application as we have seen that endeavor os follows the minimalistic approach and it is a terminal centric linux distribution we do not have a lot of applications we only get some of the necessary one as we have mozilla firefox for web browser then we have g calculator for audio we have pulse audio we do not have any other significant application if i go into my all application as you can see most of them are system utilities and not the application so in case if you want to download and install any application as per your liking for example as we have mozilla firefox as a default web browser let's say you want to download and install google chrome for that you have to use the terminal and from terminal you can download and install google chrome so it means if you are not aware and you do not know how to use terminal and how to use linux distribution endeavor os might be a difficult one for you because only from the terminal you can download and install some of the applications as per your liking now let's talk about the kernel well we have the latest kernel in endeavor os i will just write here u name dash r hit enter so this is the version of kernel that we are using in endeavor os now let's talk about some of the nvidia support 
Well, one of the significant feature of Endeavor OS is that it comes with the non-free NVIDIA drivers that are preloaded into its kernel. And that is very helpful for those users who are using an NVIDIA GPU onto their system. Sometimes installing the NVIDIA drivers can be hassle and having them automatically installed and preloaded during the OS installation is super convenient. There are also additional steps for NVIDIA Optimus users. So whenever you will boot up your Endeavor OS, it will allow you to choose between the simpler version and the version with the NVIDIA. Now let's talk about and let's see some of the system information and let's see what does this Linux distribution has to offer. For that, I will use a utility known as NeoFetch. So in terms of OS, we are using Endeavor OS. Obviously, for kernel, we have 5.15. And for our packages, we are using Pac-Man at the moment. For our shell, we are using Bash 5.1 version. Then we have resolution information, desktop environment, and we have other information about this system. Let's see how much resources this system uses. Well, here we have information about the system resources, but let's see this in more detail. To do so, we have a utility known as HTOP. Well, the default one is top, which gets shipped with every Linux distribution, but I have installed the edge top, which is similar to top, but it offers the information in more sophisticated way. So I'll just write here edge top and hit enter. So here we have all the information about all those processes that are running at the moment into my Endeavor OS. And after that, I have user of each process. And then in front of each process, we have the percentage of resources or you can say percentage of CPU that is being used by each process. On the top section, if you see my system is using almost 600 megabytes of RAM out of 4 gigabytes of RAM. And that's a very good use of my hardware resources because the system is not eating up my resources. And that's a really good thing in terms of optimal performance and optimal functionality of Endeavor OS. And that shows that even if you have some older system, you can install Endeavor OS and you can enjoy the Linux distribution with a lot of features and a very good interface. At the end, I will talk about the community support. Another one of the primary focus of the Endeavor OS project was on its community. The Endeavor OS team has done an excellent job creating a platform where advanced Arch users can help Linux newcomers with their questions and problems. You can reach out to Endeavor OS community using any of these platforms. We have Endeavor OS forum, we have Endeavor OS subreddit, and we also have Endeavor OS telegram. And as Endeavor OS is based on Arch Linux, you can also go to the Arch Linux forum and you will have a lot of solution regarding your problem related to your Endeavor OS over there. And that brings us to the end of today's video. And I hope now that you must have learned a lot of new things about this beautiful Linux distribution. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.